Okay, here we go. All right, score. All right, so Big Boy Sports is back with another AAL2 interview. I know it's been a long time coming. Um, I've been working on this for like about two, yeah, about two months now. So, you know, I got it together. Um, th this man right here, he's been in contact with me for the last couple months. Um, he is part of the Texas Hot Shots, and his name is Joshua Franklin. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Hi, everybody. My name is Joshua Franklin. I am the owner and founder of the Texas Hot Shots, which um, I'm using my organization not just for football, but to promote men's mental health awareness throughout the throughout not only my team but hopefully throughout the entire league yeah man, that's the big thing that's um he's been that the hot shots have been posting about is mental health um but the first thing the first big question that i do have to ask is why the name texas hot shots this has been on my mind since i first saw the team page you know go up okay so let me let me just throw this out there. So I'm pretty sure where you where I'm pretty sure you know where I got the name from. I know. Okay, so I got it from the AAF, but I I mean at first, you know, to give a little backstory, um yes, I want something different. Yes, I wanted something that uh, I wanted something different but it needed to have like a meaning behind it. Um, I didn't see any real meaning behind an animal name because everybody's doing some type of animal or some type of mythical creature or something like that as far as their name is concerned. Um, uh, when I think of the hot shots, uh, and, I, and I got this idea after taking the hot shots name, um, there was a guy that I had spoke to and the reason why, you know, I wanted, uh, not that I wanted to start a team, but he encouraged me to start it. So he was like, Joshua, you know, you can't have a team without having a purpose behind it. And then, and then, you know, and when he went into the, into the details as to why, when you think of the name hot shots, you think of arrogant, you think of guys that got their stuff together. You think of, one of one, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, Texas Hot Shots is another name for a firefighter. Um, firefighters are tough. They are capable. Um, and they do fight battles. Um, so, like I tell everybody, we're, yes, we're battling for our first ring, but firefighters, not only do they, you know, fight fires and, and do all the other stuff, they also rescue so what are we rescuing? We're trying to battle and rescue and change the way society views men's mental health as a whole, which is the reason why even after I took the name or I, I borrowed the name from the AAF, the Arizona team that is, that is no longer here, I said, this is the meaning that I'm going to use behind the name Texas Hot Shots. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and yes, I guess following up is, um, you guys been very focused on men's mental health. Uh, what, what is y'all's process like on that? So, um, one, I know a lot of our, I know we haven't posted anything lately. Um, as far as mental health, when we spoke about it games, because again, um, you have to, you have to think about one, um, I, I'm still trying to make a name for myself. I'm going to just be honest with you. I'm still trying to make a name for myself. And then while also at the same time, like for next game, I will be bringing up, you know, uh, I will be bringing up men's mental health throughout the game when I'm on live stream. And it's basically because I have guys, you know, I have guys who were, who are on my team that were homeless and I was able to get them a job, help them find a job or um, guys that were struggling, but now they're no longer struggling because I was, 
because we have a mental health counselor um um and now um you know just giving those guys access to be able to contact me no matter what time of the day or night it is um and uh and just you know be there so uh, again and then like i want to say as the season progresses and and then even as the season progresses and move and move on we'll be able to do a whole lot more like i don't know prayer group before the game starts um do like a i would like to in the near future not just have meals with my players but meals with the other team because you know we both worked hard and we played hard during that game it's kind of like building that that safe space you know they can collaborate amongst themselves mm -hmm. and stuff like that and also within the near future um I, me personally i'm working on like I said, not only trying to help these guys get mentally stable, but financially stable. So I'm coming up with a carrier, a courier program where they will be working for me. Um, well, they'll be working for me and I'm going to be teaching them a skill. And then that skill, um, as they're practicing with me, because I'm, I'm, I'm in control of what they do. You know what I'm saying? Obviously. And um, um, they'll be working for me, teach, learning the skills for me. And then let's say the season progresses and one of the players come to me and be like, coach, I can't do this anymore. I'm, I'm too old. You know what I'm saying? Or coach, I'm, I'm injured. Um, this is really all I got. Um, I don't know how else I'm going to make finance. Well, Hey, I just taught you a skill that is not going to hurt your pockets Two, Um, if you wanted to, you can take that skill and go work for somebody else, or you can take that skill and you can go work for yourself. And if you need help, you just follow me along the way and say, hey, coach, you know, I know you were teaching us this, but am I doing this right type stuff? Now we're getting to the aspect of because now I am I put these guys in a position to where they can take care of themselves financially. Now mentally they're able to um, function better, whether it be um, amongst themselves, relationships, or, uh, or you know, or, or with their family. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, man, that that's a lot, man. That that's definitely a process, want to get this in your heart. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know <laughs> that's how, how I'm going to do this it, in your heart, man. It. <laughs> you said what? I said I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I, I try not to think about it. It's one of those where um my grandparents or my family members always tell me, I don't I may not have the means right now, but I can make something out of nothing. And that's what I'm known for throughout my family. Like I said, I don't, people say, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money. I know it's a lot of money, but I, I feel like, I feel like once my message gets out there, I'm hoping that this message, you know, reaches out to somebody be like, Oh, he's, he's real serious about this. Well, let me see how I could, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that I'm relied on outside sources, but there are means of my own that I'm trying to do um, to make stuff like that happen. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about that first game that y'all played against the Dallas Falcons of the 6 6 44. Um, yeah. We talked about it on Tuesday night uh, <laughs> and everything like that. Um, I, I, I want to go through the process again because I know what you told me, but. I, I, I think the people need to know how that went. So um, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, even the even the Falcons owner, he told me uh, the between my Falcons owner and my advisor and several other people, they were like, Joshua, you're going to have mistakes. This is y'all's first debut. This is y'all's first game. Don't stress out about it. But I'm like, listen, I have to because again, my thing is communication. And I'm I, I thought that I communicated fairly well on um on um getting these guys there on time and making sure people were and things were in place. Luckily, because of the Falcons owner, um, because we have a we have a friendship, uh, because I used to play for him when they when they were first brought up. Um 
And you know, so you, was, you, you, uh, to interrupt you for a second, you were yeah. on, you were on that team last year. So you, you y'all played Columbus last year. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I no, no. Man, no, I haven't. I wasn't with the Columbus last year. I uh, I, I didn't play with the Falcons last year when they went to Columbus. This was like, oh, shit. I want to say 2015. Uh, no, this was back in 20. 16, 2017, I believe. Like oh, I said, okay. it's been a it's been a while. This is oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah. This is more of a I want to say that game, man, was more of a big brother, little brother type game. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I want to do my own thing and not, you know, saying do it with him. Oh, okay. Okay. I got yeah, you. Yeah. So that's why, you know, he was in my ear telling me not to stress, not to stress about thing is going right the, the first game. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and then, you know, like I said, they they had, you know, a full roster and we had 16 guys. And I'm, man, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm, I'm watching it from, I'm watching the game from my job. And and I'm like, shit, bro, we could not ask this whoop. And and then I'm looking, and then I'm counting, and I'm just like, bro, what the what the hell is going on? And then you know, I remember my player, one of my players, telling me, Coach, we didn't know what we was gonna do without you. I said, What you mean without me? You supposed to we we practiced this already. You know what I'm saying? But then I got I gotta realize it's 16 of them, and then I think it's 19, 20 of those guys, and for it to be 44 to 66, you know what I'm saying? In my book. It's a win in my book, and that's only because one, I was very, very shorthanded. That's number one. Number two, I did not have all of my weapons. When I say I didn't have all of my weapons, um, I was. If you watch that game, we used the same three linemen the entire game. Those linemen played offense and they played defense. And then it was even one point where one of the linemen were tired, and then I had one of my captains, number three, uh, Ladarius Cooks. Um, he stepped up as a lineman, and, you know, I, I'm, 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 pre- I'm very appreciative and proud of him, but, you know, it's stuff like that that I want to prevent. But I know, like, this game coming up uh, next weekend against the Waco Tornadoes, I will have all of my weapons. And now that we have all of our ducks in a row for next game, this should be a very totally different outcome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I'm hoping, I'm hoping y'all get, y'all get at them, you know, ne- uh, next weekend. I'm hoping y'all do it. Cause yeah, we, we play them three times in a row. I don't know why that, why that is, but it is. Yeah. I, I'm guessing that's just how it works out because of what happened to Austin and, um, so and we, talk, and, uh, we were talking about we were talking about this off camera, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, your thoughts on the um, again, just to the people about the, um, the West Texas Waco situation. Again, I don't want to. Like I said, I've told you what I said off camera, and um, from from my understanding i don't even think the um i think we even had a meeting about it uh it, it's it's something that that could have been prevented it was just we i guess the the league probably themselves wanted to take that chance and it cost them you know a, a mockery now and um and now that you know the mockery is, I'm not gonna say the mockery is kind of fizzled out because now the mockery is gone from them. And now it's talking about my organization or my organization and the Falcons organization right currently. And that's why, you know, the owners, the rest of us um, are just trying to, you know, trying to get past that. And then that way we can just focus on getting better because the whole point of this, the whole point of this AAL2 is to, is to revamp to what happened to the original AAL and then yeah. as we grow, we can grow from the second tier to the first tier. Gotcha. Again, not everything is gonna be perfect, but we're gonna get it right. Yeah, it's it's under it's understandable. I mean, you know, I mean all the leagues have made mistakes <laughs> all yeah. year long. So you know, it is what it is there. Like I, at like February, I was like, you know what? But 
I'm just gonna get we're just gonna try and get through the season as best as we can. You know, AFL three doing whatever. IFL is, you know, fine. NAL is something. AIF, it's something. You guys in the AL too, y'all are doing y'all's thing. You know, so everybody's doing their thing. So like I'm just I was just like, you know what? Let's just get through the season as best as we can and we'll go from there, cuz. Yeah. I was just telling my guys, we I was telling my guys, my staff, I say, listen, we in this thing. Our goal is to start, finish. Don't worry about all the small stuff because again, we're still we are still learning how to communicate amongst ourselves as a staff, even between me and my coaches and the coaches and my players and then the players amongst amongst themselves. Again, these are guys that have not played with each other before. Um, but I, but what I can guarantee is that it won't be the same result. So, like I said, just just watch next game. I'll definitely be watching because, again, there's a lot of games going on, like, the rest of the weekend and everything like that. Um, there is one game I do want to talk about, though, and that's in May um, against the Amarillo Venom. How did that come together? Like I said, opportunities. I um, – it was um, – I guess you can say a bunch of I'm not gonna say the I'm not gonna say the head coach reached out or nobody in particular reached out to me. It was something that I personally took a chance on. And um a lot of people have been in my ear saying that, oh, you know, they only accepted y'all because you guys are an easy win. Um well to those people who are telling you that and are telling me that. I'm just going to be upfront and honest. It's not going to be an easy win because all of my guys, I'm not, and I'm not going to say we are going to beat Venom and, you know, cause anything can happen. But what I am saying is we will give it our all. Um, and the chance the and the reason why that game was even brought up was because of, again, the movement that I'm trying to bring about. And I think, the person that I spoke with kind of like felt my message. And that's why that person is giving us the opportunity to be on stage with a bigger crowd and hopefully someone, someone there that would be watching that game and seeing how my guys, see how my guys handle themselves and how they perform. It might help us out in the long run. So that's why I'm not only myself is grateful, but, the the staff and the players themselves are also grateful for that opportunity. Gotcha. Yeah, because so far, so far, your other contemporaries, Maryland, um, Peach State, you know, um, yeah, they get blown out. So, you know. Hey, is, but is but, but I, I'm not going to, again, they, they, they are in a, they're in a different division. Um, that is true. They're in a different division, uh, 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 newer teams. Um, but, you know, a lot of these guys are, try- are still trying to get their chemistry together. You know, again, like I said before, there is a lot of – there. Are, I want to say – I want to say these first couple – I want to say these first uh, – the first game was more of a let's see who can do what. And I'm, I'm pretty sure no matter if it's us or Peach State Cats or – Whoever else is up north, and even us in the in the Texas division, we're we're going to. It's gonna be it's gonna be, it's gonna be some great games. I I can guarantee that. All right, because y'all got three games against Waco, left, right, and then how many games left against Dallas? Is it one, two? No, actually, so the game we're supposed to play with Venom, um, um, that was supposed to be Dallas, but okay, um, we do have a filler game. Um, we have two. Okay. Um, I haven't updated the poster yet because I'm trying to confirm the second game. Um, so whenever I can confirm the second game, 
I will um, upload a new poster because we have to have eight games. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I am reaching out to some other teams locally to see if they just want to play just to play and kind of just go from there, man. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Everybody in AL has to have eight games, so, you know, it is what it is there. Yeah. Um, I guess what was the what was the next one I was gonna ask? Um, what in the what what's what's the process going to be like? For like you know, uh, I should reword my question, but um, basically, what what is your goals with this team for the next couple of years? Y'all, you know, think y'all getting out the trenches in the next couple of years? No, we're gonna be. I I have made it. For sure, for sure, certain that we're going to be in this league for for most likely the next four years. Um, again, it's 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 a process. Um, things can't be rushed. Um, what I'm also getting at too is um, my my goal per se or my preference is to one day get invited into a bigger league, whether it be the AIF, uh, AFL, or IFL. But again, these next four years, I'm trying to hold myself to a certain standard, which is one, why the reason why I was a very, very, very upset about our first game, you know, guys with, um, with um, guys, because I know things are getting around about one of my guys having a white helmet. I, I I was beyond pissed about that or uh, guys swapping helmets because guys didn't have their equipment and things. Again, as, as, as much as I try to preach about preparedness and, and try to work on communication, it, it's, it is what it is. But like I said, moving forward, um, like I said, the process is staying in this league for about four years Hope, hopefully that we have made a big enough name, not as a organization because we've been winning games and championships, but because of donations that I've received uh, through our games, uh, donations I've received through our games, and me showing what I've been able to do to help my guys that have played for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or... I want to be known for for doing things within uh, my community, which is in the Dallas Fort Worth area, doing things in my community to try to, like I said, that change of men's mental health awareness. Uh, and if people see that, you know, when people see that and they hear and they hear about Texas Hot Shots, they're not going to say, "Oh, uh, uh, they're not going to say, oh, that's just that that." disorganized or um thuggish organization is going to be oh yeah that's the organization that prioritizes men's mental health awareness and they're actually trying to make a change you know what i'm saying that's yeah. that's that's the that's what i want to work on you know what i'm saying as this organization progresses and we get bigger and better as as an organization okay. yeah yeah I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping you can succeed with that. I'm being real serious because man, yeah, men's no. mental health is it, it ain't no joke no more. It, it's it's real, it's prevalent, it's relatable, mm -hmm. you know. Cause I mean you gotta I wanna say prime example. Um and cause I here's I mean because here are some goals that I would like to change that you can better understand. So I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, there's Red Cross for children, right? Yeah. And there are places for women, you know, mm -hmm. um, like, for example, May. May is going to be Women's Month. And, mm -hmm. and if, for those who are watching this, you don't believe me, just watch. You can even go back and look at last year. Um, May is Women's Month. I have no issue. Uh, and then there's Mother's Day. Right. Mm -hmm. Google has a women's month deal. Right. 
June has always been Men's Mental Health Month. So when June came around and it was Men's Mental Health Month, was there any promotions about Men's Mental Health Month? Was there? Can you? Can anybody? Can anybody name a a place dedicated to men's mental health? What about? What about a place that prioritizes fathers' rights? I'm not talking about these these fathers and not these kids' lives. I'm talking about fathers who who are wanting to be in their kids' lives, but the system that doesn't care for them to have their kids. What what out there is promoting that? You, you can't you can't name any. You can't even look it up. You know what I'm saying? So again, that's that's what Texas Hot Shots is. So I I for example, like I said, my brother, um, he took his own life. Um, he, that, that's a, that's that that was strike that was strike one for me. Or well, yeah. well, not even strike one. They almost say it was strike two. Strike two was. Um, I lost custody of my son. Um, it was a, a a real downhill battle. I couldn't. There was no there was no helping or, or no figuring out. It was just the system was not was was not fair. You know what I'm saying? I got to deal with that, and then I'm also dealing with the loss of my brother. You know, being seeing that and going through that, and then there's the um, Jason Frank. If if all for, to, for the '90s babies who are watching, the if you watch Power Jason Rangers, David Frank? huh? Jason David Frank, yeah, the Green yeah, 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 he committed suicide. I I, I, I know up. because I'm a fan of that. He died. He genre. died back in. Uh, I want to say he, he died, died a couple years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, he died. Yeah, he died. He died a couple years ago, and then because it's it's crazy because it was my brother, and then a few months a few months later it was. It was it was Dave Frank the, from Power Rangers, and then a few months later, it was um, a Twitch from the Ellen Show took his own life. And when you as when you go back when you go back and you watch um, and you go back and you and the people say, well, why you do it? He was he was such a good man. Things of that nature. Well, what you don't know is Frank was was. Um, you know, going through a divorce, right? Yeah, that's hard on men. That's very, very hard because again, they they don't have that space. They don't have that person to go to to talk to, because we have because us as men have to hold ourselves to a standard to be a man and live throughout life. When it came to the actor slash DJ, the actor slash uh, dancer slash uh, DJ Twitch. No one still knows why he took his own life. But I'm pretty sure the men around him prop, prop most likely do. Are we going to speak up on it? No, because again, it's 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 frowned upon. So this organization is to is to is to is to to stop all that. It's to this is one of the reasons why one of the reasons why um uh, um People call me crazy for having my games free. No, nah, I'm not crazy because um, what I would like is for those guys to come out and to, and I'm going to be open and honest about it, is to hopefully bring those guys in, try to spark that conversation. You know, hey, bro, how's work going? Oh, you know, this and that, the other, blah, blah, blah. And I would like to, um, what I would like to do in the future is give out, free sessions you know we got counselors on standby they can talk to them during halftime they can talk to them after the game maybe after that maybe that because of that short period of time during halftime they feel some type of way and now they can they can schedule that appointment you know what i'm saying to to speak what's on their mind to try to better themselves you know what i'm saying not not just as a man but maybe as a father and as a husband you know what i'm saying that that's like I said that's that's the whole reason why I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do. More power to you, man. More power to you for real. I'm I'm, I'm not even joking with you. Like more power to you because this is something that definitely needs to be more focused on. Like I'm I'm just ain't, ain't no ifs answer buts about it. Like a hundred percent. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I was more shocked that you actually knew who Jason David Frank was. <laughs> not not that not that I'm I twenty nine. I mean, I mean, I'm two years younger than you, but I mean, you know, I'm more of a I'm more of a fan of that stuff. So when you know when you should when you when you um <laughs> when you when you um I can't I can't speak, but when you when when you brought him up, I was like, okay, okay, <laughs> JDF being brought up. I mean. Rest in peace to him, but I mean, man, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know more. I didn't know, but you know, it is what it is. Such yeah, yeah. so the life of being a niche fan of a genre of superheroes. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, then, then, then hey, if, if if you are a fan, then if you are a a type of fan that I think you are, um, you might be able to, you might be able to relate to the quote of. Um, you can't understand one's pain unless you've been through it yourself. You know, you know where that's from, right? I know the saying. I, I forgot where it's from. I know Naruto. where it's from. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I haven't read it yet. I'm yeah. just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You you learn a lot, man. That that just lets you know a lot about myself and why I I have this thought process and why I wanted to do what I want to do. You see what I'm saying? I get you. I get you. Confirmed. We have another Naruto fan. Confirmed. Are you a Naruto fan? Good. Yes, I am. I am a. I am a nerd to my core. People can. You can ask me about when it comes to. I tell you. I tell you this much. When it comes to just NFL stuff, and then I, I of course, I'll troll the Cowboys. But you know, what I'm saying because I'm not. Wow. I'm not a cow. I'm not a. I'm not a cowgirl fan. I'm gonna say. Wow. I'm gonna say that on live. I'm not a cowgirl wow. fan. But but and again and as I said a lot of, there's still a lot of stuff about football that I just I do, I just don't care to watch. But when you, we have a anime conversation, oh I am all about it. <laughs> okay. Nerd. This, up. this is definitely this is something I'm gonna have to come back to in the future. I'm gonna definitely if I make an anime type podcast or something like that, I'm gonna definitely have you on, man. I'm definitely have matter of fact, on. matter of fact. Um, believe it or not, I was quoting anime quotes during the game when I when I walked up when I walked up on the field and I because I was again I was late when I walked up on the field I saw I saw the guys were tired I was telling the guys it's time to grit those teeth that's Gurren Lagann and oh. I was also telling them to push past their limits that's Black Clover and look what happened we were. We were at the time we were eight to twenty-four or twenty-eight. And then you realize during the game, we went from eight to twenty-four, and the score just started going up. Cause I'm 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 in their head. I'm I'm quoting things that I have heard, and it's just giving my guys the fire, or how Nazi would say the fire in their belly to, to keep pushing. Okay, okay. I, I'm just more excited that you <laughs> that uh, to another from one black person to another. I'm, I'm just more excited that you know that you know your stuff. I'm, I'm just excited. We we can keep talking about this tangent. Hey, we can, hey, we can keep going man. on this tangent, it's man. You want to do, man? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you got you got like a favorite anime? Favorite anime? Yeah. One Piece. Of course. Eleven hundred chapters. Fourteen movies. 1100 episodes. <laughs> Do you have hey, a least favorite? Is. I watched it. I watched it four times. Ain't no way. I, ain't no way. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't watch. I can't watch the same thousand episodes four times. I, I'm just gonna be real with you. Like, do you have, do you have like a least favorite? Least favorite? Yeah. No, because I mean. I'm not gonna say that I haven't seen a terrible anime yet. Um, I don't know. They're they're all good to me. Okay, give me a top ten. One Piece is number one. Okay. Uh, um. Uh. Yu Yu Hakusho. Okay. Uh. Inuyasha. Okay. Okay. 
Um, I'm a real big an absolute banker. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a real big fan of Big O. Okay, okay. Oh, speaking my language. Speaking my language, cause uh, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting, I'm getting back in. I'm, to interrupt you for a second, I'm getting back into you know, or rather, I'm getting real started in my manga journey. So I've been reading Getter. I read Getter. I read the entire Getter saga. Um, mm -hmm. I read Mazinger. Uh, just finished uh, Steel G the other day, which is also old. But there, but most of those are like tied into like the animes and stuff like that, like the old yeah. anime seventies. So I'm not going to be watching two hundred yeah. episodes of seventies anime. So. Well, I said One Piece. I mm -hmm. said, I said, um, you said Big O. You said Inuyasha. You mm -hmm. said, I forgot. Oh, oh uh, yeah. So One Piece, Big O, Inuyasha, Zach Bale. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I don't remember Zach Bale. Bale. Um, Fairy Tale, um, Digimon, Pokemon, um. Uh, Demon Slayer. Okay, okay. And um, that's nine. No, that's eight. Um, oh, oh. Um, Devil was an Exorcist. I like that. I like that one. Um, and uh, girl. And oh, oh. Why? Why did it almost slip my mind? Um, um, reincarnated as a slime. Okay, okay. I, I was interested in checking it out, so I was like, you know what? Do I either do I start with the light novels or do I start with the anime? I don't know. It's very, very good. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, most, I mean, pretty much all of those I've heard of, so it's just like, it's just like me getting, you know, the time to read them and, or, or watch them or whatever, so, you know, like, because right now I'm reading uh, something much older, um, um, Shinji Wada's um, Pygmalio, which is like a, a fantasy type story. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, you know how uh, you know Kill a Kill, right? No, wait, Killer Kill a Kill. The, the yes, I, yeah. I've heard so of it, the author, I, I author so the author wrote a um, a long story. You know, um, the Link with Girl Detective, which is basically basically that that's what spawned that. Um, there's like a whole Twitter thing about it. And a bunch of other stuff, so you know, it's 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 a long story, but yeah, I, I like I like my older manga, <laughs> so and, and stuff like that. So um, still trying to, I'm still trying to, get, I'm still trying to, I'm dipping my toes. I'm trying to get you know waist deep, you know, and everything like that. Um, Definitely with more mecha stuff too. Like, um, so I'm definitely trying to get my waist deep. Um, there is that new Power Ranger. He's, he's speaking of mecha, um, bro. I forgot about Zeon. You know what I'm talking about? No. The um, the guys that were in the animal looking mechas and they were run around. I, I I don't even I don't even it's the, know. It's the animal version of Gundam. I I really don't know. <laughs> I'm so How confused. How old you are? I'm 27. I or I don't oh, yeah, think yeah, 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 next yeah. month. You, you probably wouldn't know. I mean, you should, but then you shouldn't. I'm I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, wait, what? What? I'm I'm, I'm I don't even know. I'm they're, stumped. They're, they're, they are uh, apparently they're supposed to be re rebooting that anime. I don't know when or uh, I don't know when or who's going to be the artist, the the artist to redesign that that anime. But yeah, yeah. they're supposed to be re, re um, remaking it. Maybe I got to look this up real quick. Maybe, maybe maybe this maybe looking it up will help me. Z i o n. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> I, can't, I can't find it. I can't find it. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out one of these days because getting into Gundam is going to be, you know, something else. So I'm going to just try other stuff first. So Whew. I think we went all over time, man. Um, 
<laughs> well, thank you so much for, you know, um, coming on tonight. You know, you didn't even have to take this time out of your day, but you did. And you spent like 40 something minutes just sh shooting the bird with me. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, listen, I don't mind, man. I don't mind. Like I said, if I got the time, I got the time. So, yeah, so I'm going to definitely bring you back on at some point. I don't know when. Um, because man, this is one hell of a good conversation, man. Because I mean, my goodness, from I mean, everything for real, like it, it definitely brought me some new perspectives into things and it's definitely, it definitely bonded a couple of people over you know, shared interests. So, um, once again, I hope y'all and the Texas Hot Shots have a great rest of y'all season. Again, I'll be reaching out throughout the season and everything like that. Same thing with like other teams like Doolif. I've reached out to them and I've done some stuff with them. Wheeling, um, they're playing right now. I'm going to do something with Wheeling's head coach tomorrow, which is going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting um, um, over on the Shady Sports Network. So be sure to tune in. It'll be like a cross post type thing. So, you know, whenever you, whenever you wake up and decide, you know, Hey, let me, let me take a good gander at this and see what big boy and the boys are cooking. So uh, I, I, I tell you this much. I would say if you want to link back up with me, let's link back up after we have played all three games against Waco. And then okay. we will have the conversation of what transpired. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Um, once again, Joshua, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your Friday night. Um, hope y'all do well next week against Waco. And you um, you got any socials that you want to, um, you know, put on blast real quick, especially the Texas Hot Shots hope socials. Cause yes. Where are y'all? Um, where Where are the Hot Shots located at? I know Facebook. I do follow y'all on Twitter, so if you see, so if you saw me follow y'all on Twitter a couple weeks ago, I may have. Um, oh, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't posted. I myself, I've been controlling the, the Twitter lately, but I haven't. I, I've seen people follow, but I haven't like you know recognized it. But I did see that we've gone from ten to twenty followers to like eighty something followers. I'm like, where the where the freak these people come from? <laughs> but yeah. um, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Um, I want to say that for anybody that is watching, um, like I said, we are having a fundraiser the entirety of the season. You can do one of many things. You can go to our website, hotshotsfootball.com slash donate. Donate whatever, you're, whatever you feel is generous. Because, again, everything – that I make, even like I said, even that, uh, even with my uh, beef jerky that I'm selling too, it goes. Part of that goes to my men's mental health project. I'm trying to work on those things. Also, even if you didn't want to donate and you want something, do something else. Um, go to our TikTok uh, on our in our TikTok shop. Um, Black owned business, Brock House beef jerky. That's my uncle. Um, we are known for our peach smoked jerky uh, the mm. best damn jerky in the state of texas mm. worldwide and um i will be putting some i will be putting some merch um uh, our slogan is put this meat in your mouth so it because it's just that good <laughs> uh, and you know like i said just on Facebook, like I see, uh, facebook instagram twitter TikTok. um if you want if i say and then our website and if you want to donate HotShotsFootball.com, or if you want to help us with our fundraiser, go to our TikTok shop, go buy you some jerky, and and that's all I can ask, man. Just we, we need y'all support. Like I said, this, this isn't just about football. It's it's changing the way society views men's mental health, and we're also fighting for fathers' rights. Simple as that. Win or lose. And where can where can people find you at? Just you and Joe. Oh, me personally, um, Joshua Kirkland on Facebook, um, uh, the uh, the official Untamed Beast on um, on Instagram and uh, and TikTok, 
and Twitter is Joshua TX Hotshots on Twitter. So yeah, and like I said, but I'm always I'm always on TikTok and I'm always on uh on Facebook. So like I said, I'm a friendly person. Y'all feel free to reach out to me. Uh, if y'all have any creative uh, ideas, please do not uh, be afraid to reach out to me because I'm I, I I need suggestions. I need help because this is not I can't make this um, I can't make this movement happen with just myself. I need a community to make this happen. I got you. I got you. I, I partially got you, and I hope. Some of my other fellow creators are also listening. I hope they got you too. So we'll definitely, yes, we'll definitely be, you know, uh, since I'm also in the DFW community, I'll definitely, you know. Oh, they come uh, to the game then. What, what you, what you? I can't come to Rockwall, man. <laughs> I tried to tell. So the we, we, when you, we, where, we, where you at then? Where you at then? I'll be Pleasant Grove. So I don't have a car. Say less. <laughs> we'll we'll talk. We'll talk after this. Don't even worry about it. We'll talk after this. I'm gonna help you get to the game, so don't even worry about it. I will try. I will try because I mean, the, uh, I need for you to experience. I need for you to experience the the atmosphere for yourself because I've been told. I've been told I've turned into a different character <laughs> at the game. <laughs> All right, all right, <laughs> all right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the details about that off the camera. Yes, but sir. For that, for everybody that's watching, I know it's been long. Um, it's going to be seven o'clock. Give me a couple hours after I upload this. We'll talk some NHL tomorrow morning, seven a.m. Right, seven a.m. Eight a.m. I don't know which time he said, but it is what it is. Sometime in the morning. Me, Chris, Sam Shady, and Coach Rez from Wheeling will all be up bright and early to talk. I don't know what in the world that he's got going on, but it, it, I don't know what in the world's going on. But we'll, we'll, it, it's going to be me at least forty minutes, so I'm gonna definitely all that. And then, and then, of course, Sunday when I get back this weekend indoor football, definitely be talking about you know. Wheeling's first game, which is still going on right now. I think it's like 20 something. It was like 20 something to 13 at the moment. But don't who's winning? Don't, but don't quote me on that because who's winning? Um it's actually a close game. The defending champs are in this game. It's 23-20. Um, it's on the Wheeling's um YouTube page. So and they got the old Iowa Barnstormers turf, if I'm not mistaken, too. So yeah, so that. That that's gonna definitely be watching that along with some other games and everything like that. So again, I'm gonna, we're gonna we're gonna get on up out of here and hope y'all enjoy this hour or at least close to an hour. I'm gonna stop talking now because <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm waiting on you. You know what? I know I, I, know I kind of said a lot, man, but like I said, I need these people to know. So, but I'm glad we had fun talking. Definitely, and big boy, there, there we go. Big boy is signing out. Josh was also signing out. Oh, there we go. See y'all in at some point in the next couple hours. We're, we're